<laughs> What's up, people? How could I even be smiling at a time like this? It's not a smiling time. Because considering... What was it? When was I away? Why, why, aren't I, why am I not reloading if I'm so confident in these sell-offs? So confident in the destruction of the stock market. So confident that the market's broken. Why not push my bets, people? Why? 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 And this is why I need to have a service where at least my knowledge and my catastrophes could profit the rest of you. The price line is just unbelievable at this point. I mean, at, at, at being down 40, that's like, I mean, it's kind of par for the course for how much the market's down. This stock was going down anyway. That's why this day stinks. This, th this day ruined what I do, okay? I don't need the market to go down this much in one day. Because if I'm a seller of calls, I think you understand the whole concept there, right? It doesn't matter if the market goes down, sideways, or even up, as long as the stock doesn't go back and above where I'm selling those calls, I'm okay. So the way I was looking at it was Priceline, and the way I've been doing it is Priceline has seen its highs for its life, and that's just my opinion. I believe that the stock was gonna be hit hard because it's one of the stocks that hasn't been hit hard. Going against traditional thought that the strong stay strong because they're strong, in a market where uncertainty and fear is taken over, you need to sell to pay for your other losses. I think I've just rehashed what I said in the last video. Now normally I would be shirtless right now running around with war paint on and my, my sword, my sword's out getting sharpened. And uh, next week, we're, I gotta start going out, remembering how to shoot. I've been shot a gun in a long, long time. Shotguns, I'm not a big, I like weapons, but I don't go out shooting. I don't only, you know, what am, I, what am I gonna shoot? I'm not a hunter. I like weapons for one reason only, protection of my house, protection of myself. If I was able to carry a gun like the old Wild West, you'd know I'd be strapping everywhere I go and anywhere I went, but it, would, it wouldn't be healthy because I know how crazy I get in a car. Someone gives me the finger, I'm, ready to, I'm just ready to kill. And I know, that's why what I do now is, I know how people are and how pissed off that this one finger could make somebody, especially when you're in the right, but the guy that just bucked you or cut you off gives you the finger as if you've done wrong, you're, you're thinking nothing. You don't care that your wife and family are in the kids. You're ready to you're ready to go home, follow this guy home, get out of your car and say, hey, remember me? And bat him over the head. And then as you're torturing him, explain to him the etiquette of driving. You're not even thinking straight. So having a gun on you, or worse, in your car, is just, just a bad idea. But know what I do now? Instead of giving people the finger, I give them all my fingers because they have no idea what that means. So they can't really, it, they're confused. So as they drive by, I'm going like this. I'm, I'm throwing all four fingers at them. That's basically, I'm telling them to fuck themselves four times, but they just think I'm just saying four. I don't know, this guy's driving by saying something about four, I don't know. I cut him off, I thought he was all pissed off, but he's just saying four, and I drove away. <laughs> so that's how I relieve that tension. This is all about relieving tension right now. And right now I want you to take a step back with me and just bark that shit out because you're probably pissed off about something, especially if you were shorting stocks like I was yesterday and covered your stocks at around 10, 15, 10, 30 yesterday for small profits and small losses. You do realize, let me explain to you, two of my trades yesterday was I lost $400 on the panel. I lost about $300 shorting Cree and both those trades turned out to be massive trades. I believe I lost money on I lost money on Netflix once, made that money back on Netflix, and then it proceeded, and then I got out of the Netflix, and then it proceeded to fall 10 more points. So, again, it's just gonna be a wonderful, wonderful world that we're gonna live in. And again, remember, this is all, it, it, it's been happening for 15 years. And remember, just like a stockbroker, when he calls you up and he gives you three good ideas in a row, doesn't mean that fourth idea is gonna be the best idea. That one could be the disaster. So, 
But with this price line, this price line is just unbelievable. I mean, to be down this much, this is why we trade options. Somebody just sent me an email, want to know if I trade options. I think I must have mentioned that I trade options, but a lot of times what I do is, I wasn't expecting this move. I thought maybe we were gonna have, for the first time, normally, I was praying. It was hope and pray. I, I expected it to happen on a Thursday because I'm not around. But most of this move was on the gap. I mean, granted, apparently the high of Priceline, I don't know if it really was 491. I don't even watch. But really, the high that, 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 am I looking at the right thing here? But the high today on Priceline was really 491. I don't even have a chance to pull this up right now. Oh, this is going out to the uh, people over at Options House. Could you put the high and the low in your options chains right there? That's the most annoying thing in the world, not knowing the high and the low of the day. It's very simple, people. Very simple. Program that shit in. But, for instance, the other day when, when um, Soda was getting hammered, that was an intraday sell-off. It opened up about 60 and change and then plummeted 20 points. Gaps should not be allowed. We should be able to participate in the market properly and accordingly and be able to get out at the price that the stock was the next day. I don't care about cyberspace. I don't care about the reasoning behind why a stock gaps down. There needs to be an equal and fair chance for every market participant to get out of the market. And I love when I'm in the message boards and the stock's gapping down 20 points and some guy's like, well, I'm glad I've got a stop loss order in 51. buddy." Your stop loss order is not getting done. Because when that stock opens up down 20, there are no stop losses in cyberspace. Your stock, you're getting that stock, you know it's opening up, and you're gonna be wondering why you still own that stock, okay? Trust me, you're not getting stopped out. It doesn't happen overnight. When on a price line gaps down 30 points and you had a stop loss in 28 points ago, you're not getting done. That only works when the market is actually open. Which, there's only one suggestion. Never close the market. Let it be a fluid 24 hour game so then maybe we could have some opportunity. Because if you want to be a maniac and just stay up all night and trade, you know, majority of the time there's nothing going on in the middle of the night, but give us that opportunity. Or at least at 9.30 or at eight o'clock. Give us till, give us the eight, the eight o'clock. The eight o'clock open should be the four, should be the 8 p.m. close. Never should there be a gap between the prices in from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. It's unfair, it's unethical, and it's taking money away from people like me who want to participate in the market on a daily basis and get the prices that we saw these stocks at the day before. And I'm letting you and I'm letting you have those four hours in between. The 4 p.m. close to the 8 p.m. after hours close. I don't care. Let you let you could trade that. You could trade that market as much as volatile and as how awful the after hours trading is. At least you have that opportunity because you know you can't get it. You can't get those trades done. That's why even that should be outlawed. The market should op close at four. That's it. Open at 9:30 at the price it closed at four. And you know what? at least give us a fighting chance, okay? So the market opens up and everybody wants to get out at the same time. So from 9.30 to, to 10 o'clock, we just have a complete, utter free fall. But at least you have that goddamn opportunity to get the hell out of these goddamn stocks or short them on their way down. Not wake up in the morning and see everything's getting slaughtered. It's bullshit and there needs to be something done. So let's get some legislation to do that. Enough of this legislation to make it harder on traders, to make, oh, let's take some more tests. Let's take a 56 test to try to weed out more people. Why don't you make it easier for the common folk to make money? That was what this whole decimal, decimalization was because the morons, we couldn't read eighths and quarters and halves, so they took that away from us because that was supposed to make it easier. Meanwhile, it hurt us. Trust me, it hurt us. The momentum players, it's not the same momentum anymore that takes a stock. What was taking a stock up 12 and a half cent increments on eighth quarter half is now sitting there penny by penny. Gay, 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 gay. In theory, it's supposed to go up the same and down the same. It's bullshit. Decimalization ruined the industry. That's when I left. When that came into play, I was done. But you know what? The volatility came back, and so I came back to it. So, right now, it's just it's just a crazy thing, but one thing's for sure. 
gold ain't stopping, right? I mean, at this point, it has to keep going. They might be that day where, hey, listen, to, uh, it, it, and you can't even think of this almost like, it's, it's not even like a bubble. It's a controlled, continuous buy. It's not a parabolic move that might pop. I mean, over a 20-year ch chart, maybe, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's unbelievable, really, because right now people are just looking for safety, and that's where you go. Now, you can't keep, I, I think they're just going to have to make it illegal to keep your money in cash. That's the only thing left. If your money's in cash, you are going to be forced to buy stock market. You, like, there's gonna be a government mutual fund with a, a maybe 500 stocks in it, the S&P 500 mutual fund that the government owns that we're all gonna be forced to buy because interest rates are gonna be at zero for the rest of our lives, which stinks. I mean, I love interest. I'm a conservative, stingy fella. I want interest on my money that's sitting there, but I get none, so I'm forced to take risk, and then this is what happens. This is what happens. So back to the chat room. It's an invite only kind of thing. Now you gotta understand, I have two chat rooms. There's the secret double probation chat room, and then there's the secret double bat probation chat room that only a few people that I let in there, and we go live in there from time to time. And if you really wanna hang out with me, it's all gonna, we're gonna sporadically let people into these rooms. But you gotta understand, the chat room that I send people to now is a buddy of mine, he created a chat room, and they have a lot of fun in there making sound effects and telling crazy jokes. And of course, I throw my ideas in there. And I was talking to, I was talking to you guys about this uh, a couple of days ago. They're like blase about my, my, my calls right now. It's like, they, it's like, yeah, we know. But they, they're like a deer. They're like all a bunch of deer caught in the headlights. I go in there, I say, oh, I just covered my Netflix for a short, you know what happens now. And then when Netflix goes down 16 points in the next hour and a half, I come back later, hey, anybody short that Netflix? Not a one. Say, hey, look, I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that price line. I only have 100 shares short. Generally, I make money on whenever I just do 100 shares. Maybe you should join me on this price line short here at 500. I come back, the stock's at 486. Is anybody short the price line? No. So then I say, hey, guess what? I'm going to hang on to this 100 shares because I think the market's going to collapse tomorrow and it's down another 40, 50 points today. Anybody take that overnight? No. So again, these recommendations, you got to take them how they are and you'll, you'll see. You'll see. It's all I can tell you at this point. It's just the main thing right now is what I've always wanted is a community of people to hang out, talk about, you know, commiserate about what's going on in this market, what's going on in the world. We all try to help each other. That's really what it's all about. And at the same time, my recommendations and my ideas are just, I mean, I've been doing this forever. Forever, people. I bought gold when I was a kid, when I was 13. 387 an ounce. I've always been into this stuff, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, there's nothing much I could tell you right now, but it, 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 this is just chaos. It's chaos. All right, guys, good luck. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, later on. Whoa, that means she needs to go. We need to go do something, I guess. <laughs>